Hi and welcome to this week's Something for a Weekend. I'm Tony Sales Manager here at Martin Lynch and Sons and this week we've got some special news for you. Yes, ICOM's wonderful IC7760 just here has finally arrived and is available to purchase straight away. This unit is going off to our mark and he's going to be doing a full review on this and we'll be providing you with the video in the next week or so. Anyway, on to this week's video. What are we going to be doing? Well, I'm going to be showing you my five most underrated radios that I've got in the use selection, ones that kind of you may have overlooked, and I'm going to tell you the reason why you shouldn't. Anyway, continuing with the use selection, I will say that this week I'm going to be giving 5% off all of our used equipment, and you've just got to use the code USED5. So nice and simple, you've done it before in the past, go online, USED5 at checkout, and you'll get a nice little bit of discount. So let's go on Henry and we're going to go to the first radio, which is one of my favourites. Yes, Tony, you're always going on about the TS590S. That's because I love it. And it is very, very underrated, this one. Because with this being the S version, not only are you going to save about £1,000 from buying the SG version, but you're not going to be missing out on a lot of features. So the key kind of components that you're missing out on are going to be Kenwood's CW decoder. Now, let's be honest, you should be using these really. And a screen color change, which isn't massive, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, other than that, it's a wonderful, wonderful radio. HF, six meters, 100 watts, that USB connectivity, the simple UI, and just a solid receiver. This is my first one of the underrated radios that we've got here. So just use the code USE5 in check at checkout, I should say. And that's gonna be a cheap, cheap radio, that's for sure. Okay, next one, Henry. Yesu's FT70DE. So why have I chosen this one? when we've got a full range of FT5s. Well, the FT70D will give you two and 70, five watts output as well. And you can still access System Fusion. So this is a great radio if you want to start playing around with digital and you know you don't want to spend too much money you don't have to spend 300 400 pounds to get into system fusion so the ft70 and this one's all nicely fully boxed and in wonderful condition as well okay moving across henry kind of like ts 590s we're going to go for the asus ft991 so this is the original FT991, it's not the A version. Now we do have an A version here, which I'll just point to out here. And then we're gonna go back to this one. Now do you notice any differences? Physically? No, not really. So this will do HF six meters, two meters, 70 SEMs, and C4 FM as well. Again, USB connectivity, color screen, now, what's going to be the key difference with the 991 and the 991A? Well, number one, the price. You're going to be saving two, three hundred pounds compared to a 991A that's used. And you're not going to get a real-time scope. So that may not be the be-all and end-all for you. And if it's not, a couple of hundred extra pounds in the pocket you can go on that little de-expedition. So FT991 definitely a great choice and definitely underrated. Okay, moving across Henry, we're gonna go back to another handheld. I'm gonna take a look at the ICOM ID51E+. Now I own one of these radios, which obviously means you need to buy one, because if I've got one, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. So two meters and 70 SEMs, nice large monochrome display, very simple to use. Yes, it's not got the buttons for direct, fre uh, for direct frequency input. However, you don't really need it if you're out and about. Now you may like to work repeaters. Uh, you might have a gateway that you want to use. Good thing with this, it does D-Star as standard. You've got on the top here, you've got your GPS function as well. So you can go outside and lock onto the GPS, hit that very, very handy near repeater function as well. And it brings up your nearest repeater. And that's it, it's just really simple. Now we've got the ID52, as you know, available as well, which is a current model. However, that's 400 pounds used, 300 pounds. So look at what you're gonna use it for. Do you need the band scope features of the 52? Maybe not. 51's gonna be a great way of doing it. 
Okay, let's pop that there. And now moving across, this one's a little bit strange and a little bit different. We don't get these in all the time. However, Uniden's UBC 9000 XLT. If you're looking for a base station scanner or communications receiver, depending on how you want to put it, you can't go wrong really with the Uniden. It's 149 pounds. You've still got 5% to come off of that as well this week. And it's very, very simple to use. Direct frequency input, CTCSS, so you can listen to repeaters if need be. Simple, simple unit. Coverage is on the website, so you, you can get the full frequency coverage there. But you, you can't get much for that sort of money nowadays. I mean, even a handheld. So if you look at the UBC125, for example, 125 pounds. Yes, you can go portable with it, but if you're using it at home, you might get a bit of overload if you pop it onto an outdoor antenna. So definitely underrated in the fact that it's a base station scanner. You can enjoy the hobby. You can pop it there. 149 pounds isn't the world, as they say. Okay, moving across, you may remember a few weeks ago, or a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, we did the Anytone AT uh, Quadruple 6 Pro radio, or David did the review for that, I should say. Well, we did a competition to win an Anytone cap, which is one of these. And we had two of them to give away. So great news, I have made a note here of the winners. I asked for you to pop in the comments a little story about when you operated 10 meters, you know, whether it be a bit of fun, whether you'd gone out into the field, whether you'd had a really rare DX contact. And we have a couple of winners for you. So the first one is going to be Sean, and I'll just look down for his call sign, which is a 2E0 X-Ray Bravo Tango. So Sean, 2E0 XBT. Um, if you're watching, please get in touch. You've won one of these hats. And Sean had a great story where he's actually using one of the AT Quadruple Six Pros, and he's worked everywhere. And he's put a video on there of him working stuff as well. So what more could I ask for? And the second winner is going to be Richard, uh, G3 Uniform Golf Foxtrot. So G3 UGF. Richard, if you're watching as well, please get in touch because you've won a lovely Anytone cap. Now with that out of the way, we're going to have a quick look around the rest of the use kit because we've still got a little bit of time. And you've probably not finished that cup of tea yet. So we've got this Alex Loop hand pack. If you've not seen one of these before, it's basically a portable HF antenna solution. And we can open this up here. You've got your controller here for the loop, all built in. And then in the back of the bag, you've got your actual loop. Now I'm not gonna get all of this out because you know what I'm like when it comes to uh, dissecting boxes and bags. But 549 is about 100 pounds or so off. And uh, I believe these are still being made by Alex's son as well. Um, great bit of kit, used it a couple of times. They're a QRP antenna, but great if you want to go out and about. And there's some superb videos of Alex working loads of DX on these. Okay, moving across again, we've got the IC7760, as I said, which has arrived. If you want to still buy an ICOM flagship, IC7610, we have these available HF and six meters, 100 watts output, USB connectivity, remote operation. You can do it all with a 7610. Now we've got a lot of customers that use these. These are great, great radio. Okay, moving across, ICOM's IC7300. We're featuring a lot of ICOM this week. You're probably wondering why we've got so much used ICOM. It is because of that 7760 that's come out, taking a lot in part exchange, people upgrading from the 7300, 7610. Uh, but yeah, 7300, 5% off of our current prices on 7300s, HF, six and four meters. So we can pop that back on there for you, Henry. Uh, just a great, great radio. And it may be that you don't even transmit, it may be just, you're just a shortwave listener. And that's a great way of getting onto the bands and having a listen. Okay, moving across. Yes, you all loved Mark's Flex video. I really enjoyed it myself. And we have loads of Flex radios in, thanks to the 8000 range now being released. So we've got the 6600, which is pretty obvious. It's the four slice, uh, built-in ATU as standard as well, full multi-mode. And you can link this with the Maestro which has come back into stock, but you're gonna to have to be quick because they sell out very, very quick. 
And if we move across Henry, we've got a 6700. If you really want to push the boat out, you can go for eight slices, full duplex as well, direct sampling. Um, I mean, that's 7,000 pounds plus when that came out. So that is a great saving on a 6700. Again, as I said, I've taken quite a few of these um, 6600s in because I just think they're great value. Uh, a little, little over sort of two, two and a half thousand pounds uh, will get you into what was and probably still is a really great performing flex radio and you can run it with all the latest software version 3 and do what you can do really with the 8600 until the roadmap moves on anyway. Okay moving across Henry we've got this lovely FTDX 3000 from Yesu 949 of less your 5% if you use that code used 5 HF and 6 meters 100 watts nice color display solid built radio down conversion on the receiver and great for working DX. In fact, I really should have included these as in a underrated radios because that is a great, great radio. It really is. If you can't afford a, a 5,000, then that's a good one to opt for. Okay, got another ASU 857D in. Uh, we've got some 891s available, which we'll see over in that corner there, Henry. Um, as we saw earlier, 991As, 705s. Tony's favourite radio. <laughs> the 705 perfect portable radio. Uh, just over a thousand pounds. Obviously, you can use that code as well on there. So worth getting. And we've got a bag in. So you might have your 705 already. 99 pounds. Good saving, 150 pounds plus for a bag. 99 pounds will get you into one. And it's all tagged and it's basically brand new. Never used by the previous owner. Okay. Moving on from that, I'm going to pick one more item, which is this FTL meter from LDG for £50. You can connect these up with an 897, an 857. Uh, double check with the LDG site because it's been a while since we sold these new and it's very, very rare for this to come up. Uh, and at £50, absolute bargain. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there this week. Many, many thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, going to have a little rummage around as well so we can find another giveaway for you on a future video. Anyway, take care and thanks for watching. See you soon.